What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Manchester United Barcelona post-match analysis video. Do you think Barcelona deserved to win this game? Because I think apart from uh, the first like 20 minutes, Barcelona didn't particularly play well. They just kept the ball brilliantly, frustrated Man United for large periods of the game. Uh, but actually, probably Man United had the more dangerous opportunities, but they failed to hit the target. Ter Stegen didn't have a save to make, and you can't expect to get anything out of the game if you don't hit the target. Man United actually had 10 shots, and Barcelona were very, very efficient. I think they put in a very professional performance. They didn't really want to blow Man United away. All they were looking for is an away goal and, and trying to win the game. Uh, Messi had some uh, chances, but it was mainly Luis Suarez who was the danger man for Barcelona. And Luis Suarez heads it across goal, and at first uh, glance, I thought it was a Coutinho goal. But in the end, the replays showed that Luke Shaw ended up uh, being uh, the own goal scorer, so he scored an own goal. By the way, why on earth did the linesman flag offside when it wasn't even close to an offside? And if VAR didn't exist, Barcelona wouldn't get that goal, which is ludicrous that a linesman can make such a big mistake in a Champions League night. I'm actually very happy that VAR uh, gave that goal. I'm a little bit torn between who I, do I want to go through. Of course, uh, I want Barcelona to go through but also a part of me wishes that Man United go through so Liverpool have an easier route to the Champions League final. But to be honest, it would be a dream to play Barcelona in the semi-finals. Uh, uh, Messi at his peak and Barcelona at his peak against Liverpool, who are also at their peak, I think this would be a, a brilliant, brilliant encounter. And uh, yeah, De Gea made a couple of very, very big saves, so it could have been a bigger scoreline. But also I thought Man United really pressed Barcelona well at the beginning of the second half, and they easily could have scored if Marcus Rashford has a better day in front of goal, or, or if Martial shoots first time and he decides to take a very long touch in the box. This could have been a much, much different game. And of course, Man United are still not out of the tie because Man United actually lost 2-0 to Paris Saint-Germain and somehow they went through winning 3-1 away from home. But at this time, I don't think that is going to happen because this Barcelona team is much, much better than that Paris Saint-Germain team. And also because at the no Camp, Barcelona usually score at least one goal, but they usually score two or three goals. And actually Barcelona's defense uh, in the second part of the season has been pretty alright apart from one or two games. But I still feel that if Man United had more energy, if they pressed the Barcelona more, they would have gotten a much, much uh, better scoreline. Because honestly, every time Man United pressed Barcelona, Barcelona didn't look comfortable. They usually have so much time on the ball, they got used to it in the Spanish league. And even in the Champions League, most teams uh, sit off. And I was very frustrated with how Man United just set off Barcelona sometimes. Maybe they didn't have the energy to press for the full 90 minutes, but I still think, from a Man United point of view, they should have pressed Barcelona a lot more than they did. Because Barcelona looked uncomfortable when they were pressed, high pressed, and they made actually a lot of mistakes in this game. Barcelona gave the way, ball away a lot in their final third and it was Man United's wastefulness and, and Man United's own fault that they didn't capitalize because another team, a better team, might have uh, scored one or two goals against this Barcelona team. It's, it amazes me that Man United spent the second most money in the past like uh, five years in the Premier League and they still have Ashley Young as their first choice right back. Ashley Young is not a right back, he's a right winger, right forward, he's a converted right back and he's not even a good one. He had so many wasteful crosses and opportunities. I'm a Liverpool fan, I, was, I wanted Barcelona to win this game, but even I got frustrated watching Ashley Young, so I can't imagine how many United fans feel watching this guy almost every week starting for them. 
I think even Antonio Valencia was better than Ashley Young usually, but Antonio Valencia is uh, getting old and maybe he's phased out, maybe I, I heard that he will be sold by Man United. But honestly, if Rashford has a better day, this could have been a much more different scenario. I'm not sure what happened in this game to Rashford. He was snatching at shots, he was uh, shooting high and wide, very, very unlike Rashford. Normally, he's quite clinical in front of goal. And I was happy to see Coutinho put in a pretty okay, very, very good performance in this game. I think Coutinho had a added motivation being at Liverpool for so many years to come to Old Trafford and help his team win. And it was actually good to see Barcelona fans clapping Coutinho off when he was substituted. Uh, they probably acknowledged that Coutinho had a good game. Because usually Barcelona fans boo Coutinho into oblivion in the Spanish league. Which of course I don't really like to see. And all, uh, Suarez also had a massive chance in the second half which he shoots into the side netting. On another day that could have been 2 near. So this tie is still in the balance. But Barcelona... I just feel that they are just too strong, too strong for this Man United team. But uh, Man United on another day, if they take their chances, they can cause any team problems. What Barcelona don't like is uh, being high pressed. Because the big question is, how will Man United cope with Barcelona at the No Camp? Because Barcelona at the No Camp will not uh, have as few chances as they had today. I think this was a tactic by Barcelona to really control the game. They had so much possession up until the Barcelona goal. They had something like crazy, like 79% possession. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that. Uh, if, uh, that if that's true, I'm not sure. But but they had cr they, it felt like they had like 80% uh, possession or, or something crazy like that. And even in the second half, when Man United... In the first like 20 minutes of the second half, Man United really took the game to Barcelona and it, it livened up an otherwise pretty dull game because just Barcelona were so passive with the ball. They kept the ball sometimes for minutes without actually doing anything with it. And I think this was a tactic by Barcelona to really take the sting out of the game because Man United usually thrive when there is high intensity, really high uh, pressing, a lot of attacks and the crowd thrive of that. I think Man United wanted to, to quieten the crowd, quieten the home stadium and also take the sting out of the game and it worked pretty well for them. So overall, Barcelona are still favorites for the Champions League, but I think this Barcelona team has flaws. If they are pressed high, and I already have the Liverpool-Barcelona Champions League semi-final in mind, which is not 100% it will happen, but that's the most likely scenario to happen. And I think if Barcelona are pressed high, they are not very comfortable, and also their defense can be hurt. Man United actually had some big chances today, but they just couldn't finish to save their lives. I didn't understand how, because Martial and Rashford and even, uh, you know, Lukaku had some big chances. On another day, they could have scored one or two goals and Barcelona could have been in trouble. Barcelona actually, very uncharacteristically, gave the ball away so many times in their own half. So I think Liverpool has a chance against Barcelona and a, quite a big one. Because the Barcelona defense is not as good as it used to be back in the day when Guardiola was the Barcelona manager. <clears throat> and also, of course, Messi is the best player in the world. That's just my opinion. Feel free to disagree with me. But if Messi has a quiet game, you could see that Barcelona are not as effective. And Messi had the a quiet game today against Man United, which credit to Man United, but Messi got a big, big whack by Smalling, which I think should have been a red card because Messi was bleeding from his nose and Smalling elbowed him or bodied him in the face. I'm not sure in, with which part Smalling connected, but it looked really bad. There was blood pouring from Messi's uh, nose, which is not a sight you want to see to any player, but especially not to Messi. And the referee didn't even give anything. <clears throat> and there were a couple of moments where Man United could have had penalties. But VAR checked those incidents and said nothing doing. And I think that was the correct decision. So let me know overall what do you think about this game. 
I was a little bit disappointed. I expected much more from Barcelona and I expected definitely much from, from more from Man United. They were just shocking in front of goal. Let me know what did you think and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you later guys. Goodbye.